Welcome to the metropolitan area of Dallas, Texas, home of mediocre laboratories. We're new. One of the first challenges all business type people face when inaugurating a new concern is how to take a vacant, characterless office space and make it their own, filling it with tchotchkes and novelties that reflect the personality of the new business and the people who work there. For example, we're headquartered in the erstwhile home office of Healy's brand Roller Shoes. Ah, uh, if this handicap access ramp could talk, what epic tales of sick verticals it would spin. But the previous tenant left almost no sign the place had ever even been occupied, much less anything like a homey touch. You can't even see wear marks on the floor from all the tiny wheels in what must have been high traffic areas for power slides and footy 360s. So here was the question facing us. Would it be possible, using sophisticated techniques of behavioral conditioning, i.e. sending people money, to quickly, in just eight weeks, give our brand new workspace that lived-in junk shop look you see in the offices of more established enterprises? We distributed one $20 Amazon gift card to each of our first thousand registered forum users. In the email, we included our shipping address and a suggestion the recipient might use the funds to buy us something nice for our office. They didn't have to buy us something nice, of course. They could have bought us something stupid, and many of them did. For that matter, subjects could also simply have bought themselves something with the cards, as participation in our little office decorating experiment was in no way an obligatory condition of cashing in the gift card. Card codes that weren't claimed within a week were re-gifted to other subjects. Those that went unclaimed for another week were re-gifted again, and so on, until every last card was assigned by its recipient to an Amazon account, a process that took eight rounds of re-gifting as illustrated here. A surprisingly large fraction of gift card recipients played along with this silly game. Of that $20,000 in gift card buying power we granted users, $10,704.11 came back to us in the form of tiny snow globes, pirate flags, or a giant vinyl rat for our wall. Almost 75% of mediocre users spent at least part of their gift cards on a piece of office junk for us. Nearly 30% of participants went so far as to write personal gift notes, and a few people even sent handmade gifts, which, come on, talk about your overachievers. Our total haul was over 1,300 pounds of mostly useless junk for the office. To put this into perspective, if you could transmogrify that into animal tissue, it would be enough to make an adult male polar bear. Although, then what do you do with it? You really have to think these things through before you just start transmogrifying willy-nilly. An unexpected side effect of this experiment, we're now surrounded by you, our brand new community, in the form of the things you took the trouble to select and ship to us by the box load. Most of which is basically nonsensical garbage, but it warms our hearts anyway. That concludes our report on Experiment Seligman. We encourage softball follow-up questions on our mediocre forum, where you can also find links to more Seligman photos and findings. Thank you for your attention, and until our next correspondence, be mediocre to each other. Um, do you think the selections that people made, the sort of like bizarre selections in some cases, uh, tell us anything that we should know about this first little seed of our user base? There was a lot of bathroom humor. A lot of bathroom humor. Oh, and a lot of Justin Bieber stuff, so I don't know how those two go together, bathroom humor and Justin Bieber. Is it something you would put, you would put in your home? I'm not sure there's anything in the office that I would actually put in my home. So do you, uh, do you think you're better than our users? Is that what's going on? <laughs> I do not think I'm better than our users, but... <laughs>